वेलकम सो विल टॉक अबाउट सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट डेवलपमेंट्स इन दिस डाउन टू अर्थ दिस इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट एडिशन बिकॉज थ्री इम्पॉर्टेंट एनिमल्स विच आर क्रिएटिंग इशूज विद द लोकल हैबिटेड इन अर्बन एरियाज मेनली पिजन्स डॉग्स एंड मंकीज हैव बीन एड्रेस इन दिस एडिशन ना फर्स्टली ऑन एन इन्फॉर्मेशन शेयरिंग बेसिस टू थाउजेंड फार्मर्स हैव क्रिएटेड अ इन्फॉर्मेशन शेयरिंग नेटवर्क फॉर क्लाइमेट रिजिलियंस एंड थ्रू दैट द स्मॉल एंड मार्जिनल फार्मर्स आर इन्फॉर्म्ड अबाउट द क्रॉप्स दैट कुड बी बेनिफिशियल हाउ एन हाउ अ पर्सन कैन शिप from a horticulture to a crop which requires less water for example green grams pearl millet soya and french beans could be some of those the next is the population declining now half of the species have shown a declining trend of the population and 48% of the world population species has been on a declining trend now 28% of the species are already threatened uh, this is one of the latest data that has been brought and you can see some of the species where the population is increasing is stable and decreasing so most of these species as you can see 90% of those which are considered as threatened the population is declining at a very higher pace as compared to those which are considered safe but again in the case of birds there is a drastic reduction in the population which is seen there have been environmental regulations brought in Uh, the american continent in brazil and united states where uh, the court has brought in uh, rules for construction near the wetland site under the anti pollution uh, trust the next important topic that we would discuss of course here is gramdan act now gramdan act two important villages the mainda and the tuljapur both of them from maharashtra now here gramdan is where the land is jointly owned by the people now one of this is talking about fighting to get out of this category however some of them are fighting to get into this category so mainda is one of the village which wants gramdan act to be incorporated however tuljapur wants itself to be out of this gramdan now why is it so people in the tuljapur area are actually mainly uh, the people who have been facing issues with bad loans now in order to repay those bad loans they need certain form of uh, commitment and that could be brought only when they have certain land in hand but under gramdan the land is owned by the jointly so it's not easier however in mainda there are nearly uh, 500 tribal residents who want the idea of gramdan and 75% of the owners agree to be part of the gramdan and they believe that through this they can have more minor forest products that could be brought there are various states which are allowing the villages to become republic so those are uh, in terms of gramdan so up andhra pradesh bihar odisha rajasthan maharashtra and tamil nadu now up was the first to pass the laws of gramdan gramdan requires at least 75% of the ownership uh, to be in the hands of the common people and 60% of the village land should be part of it now once the land is under the common trust it cannot be sold by the individual uh, it has to be uh, taken in through the gramdan itself there are various amendments for it now in rajasthan when this was introduced nearly 216 villages were part of it but slowly the number has gone down to 190 and similar dilution has been seen in other areas also but the basic feature is the land should be 60% of the village land 75% of the land owners should agree to it 5% of the surrendered land would be distributed to the people who do not own any land and without the common permission the land cannot be transferred if it is sold someone to the outside uh, of the village that is not possible so it cannot be actually sold to a person outside the village and those who are contributing to the idea of gramdan must contribute 2.5% of their income to the community so those were some of the important acts that was brought seven states started with it as of now nearly 3600 villages are part of it and here is the years in which the gramdan was introduced and the proportion of the uh, villages which are part of it so a very high proportion from the regions of bihar and odisha are part of gramdan again uh one major issue that gramdan faces is there is no crop insurance and uh, 
for example what could be the income that they could generate for example the mainda village in maharashtra generates income from sale of bamboo non timber forest produce the minor forest produce and the daily wage laborers the next is uh, the rising numbers of floods recently witnessed in the regions of europe and africa and that is because of the global climate change there has been sudden rainfalls flash floods and the highest or the driest number of summer days were seen in spain since 1916 another is the new seasons that are coming up because monsoon is arriving late the revised schedules for the monsoon are talking about late, late monsoon and as a result the agricultural sector is being affected the private consumption and the gdp gets affected then there are certain things under which there are unfavorable situations which are seen uh, the things are not that profitable the farmers have started the crop cycles in july and with the un um, unexpected expected monsoon and erratic monsoons there are economic losses that they are continuously bearing up now as we saw about the urban menace uh, we first focus on the population explosion the first topic that we would discuss is pigeons now pigeons a lot of people give uh, food to the pigeon in form of seeds or small um, millets that could be provided to them but a uh, very few know that this causes these pigeons cause hypersensitivity pneumonitis and that makes individuals difficult to breathe uh, the allergens in the droppings of the pigeon are the one which causes this and the rising number of cases has been witnessed specifically in the metropolitans five fold to 10 fold cases have been seen now these droppings are extremely um, affecting the human behavior uh, the lungs lungs affecting the brains causing confusion a uh, behavioral change and certain cases they are called ca causing psittacosis which is a bacterial infection similar to a pneumonia the fecal matter is found everywhere in one year one pigeon uh, one pigeon can generate nearly 12 to 15 kg of droppings and these are highly detrimental now why these pigeons have adopted to the urban lifestyle the first is they have good diet that they can get they are lesh nesters uh and the third important thing is they build their nest throughout the years so the number of pigeons have increased 100% in last 25 years which is a very high number now kill, killing pigeons is would lead to huge number of diseases and would have negative impact so reducing the number of nesting sites limiting their roosting is some of the important aspects in uh, foreign countries there is a technique which is known as dove cot uh, technique where the eggs are being uh, used and in place of those eggs wooden replicas are put and that would help in controlling the population uh, various municipalities for example mumbai pune has put a fine of 500 uh, there have been court sayings from alabad as well uh, the next is dog stray dogs now stray dogs are again a big meanings uh, there is average on an average 1.92 million dog bites every year and that accounts for nearly 5200 dog bites in a day so the number of rabies have increased significantly uh, they have jumped to 47000 from nearly 700 which were in 2020 so a very high fold of cases of rabies have been witnessed now rabies rabies is 100% fatal 40% of the deaths are seen in under 15 preventing the rabies vaccinating the dogs and uh, cost effective strategies for the same are really important to check this so how what are the important things uh, some of the important measures include creating awareness creating knowledge regular supplies of the vaccinations and anti rabies vaccinations must be made affordable for the people some of the cities have talked about abc animal birth control anti rabies program now these rules were released for sterilizing the dogs however uh, there have been uh, animal lovers against it now in india there were pilot project programs which were run in five cities tamil nadu became the first city to implement it on a state wide basis however this rule was brought in 2010 there was a national plan which was um launched in 
India released the new rules uh, in 2023 that the societies would be responsible for sterilizing and vaccinating the dogs in their region. There have been an unnatural advantage. Now, usually only 19% of the puppies survive. However, with human care, the survival rate has gone significantly up. The dogs are now being clearly classified into pets and stray dogs, and it has created a significant impact. Dog with rabies uh, cannot be euthanized and must be isolated for natural death until it occurs in the next 10 days. So these rules have been brought very stringently. There have been the rules for culling the violent and the vicious stray dogs and these need to be taken into account. The next is monkeys. Now monkeys again are one of the important um, creatures who have created mishaps in the urban uh, and the local lifestyles of the people. Now here, one of the important things is translocating them to wildlife sanctuaries. For example, translocating those from the regions of Delhi to Asola Bhatti wildlife on Delhi Haryana border. There have been uh, monkeys are again carriers of rabies and zoonotic diseases like Kaisenur forest diseases which causes damage to property as well as crops. Uh, not just the Kaisenur disease which is hemorrhagic, there are other implications as well. So center removed the rhesus makers from the schedule 2 of the Wildlife Protection Act and they are now considered uh, near to the stray dogs and cats. Uh, the habitat loss because of industrialization, urbanization and agriculture has been one of the important issues. So relocation is what is being looked in Andhra Pradesh in the Mogulu district, rescued from Tirupati in Haryana near Firozpur Jirka, in Chandigarh those in the wild and in Delhi, the Asula Bhatti wildlife. Uh, in Karnataka, again, near Shiv Moga, monkey park has been created. Uh, there have been four uh, vanar ones in the outskirts of Lucknow, which have been created. Uh, sterilization is one such technique that could be worked. Scarce technique could be developed where mimic langurs can be brought. Plantation drives are again important. Crop change how uh, crop changes cannot uh, can be done uh, for example ginger turmeric cola uh, colocosia yam marigold lime lemongrass are some of the crops which are the crops where monkeys don't get attracted uh, the rehabilitation uh, declaring some areas where monkeys could be declared as vermin is again an important aspect uh, so uh, those are some of the important things that you must take into note the next is Plastic pollution, the global uh, efforts on tackling the ideas of uh, plastic pollution, uh, no ambition co coalition by Saudi Arabia, Russia and India is important. The support from various other countries being got for it. Uh, India had been on the point of contention and the bracketing rules uh, 37 and 38.1 for rendering them uh, important are taken into consideration. There are other important issues when it comes to monsoons. So one is western disturbances. For the last three years, we have seen unusual behavior in western disturbances. And those has been responsible for winter rainfalls in northeast, along with cyclones and higher number of cyclones crossing the region. Weather changes have also affected the rabi crop, the early ripening of the crop and uh, the loss of grains the winter rainfall uh, in its extreme forms. Uh, also, there have been the changes which have been seen because of the early withdrawals and uh, the western disturbances, the highest of it have been recorded from December to February. The lowest events have recorded from the month of August and November. Uh, again, the timing methods, how long it is, the duration of it and the extremity of it are some of the important things that we must take into account. So, uh, the next important topic that we discuss is is a important art which is known as stereal art through which uh, bright colors and designs are used in eco-friendly way to, uh, to preserve the ecological footprints and here natural ingredients are used. Uh, there are various uh, polio drives which have been run in the regions of Central Africa mainly in Cameroon, Chad and Niger because of the increasing number of polio cases. Also there have been um, lawsuits against Italy for inadequate treatment of urban wastewaters. Lumpy skin disease has again seen its origin this year in the regions of Meghalaya as of now. So uh, other nation, other states need to be at caution again. And then again uh, storm water 
how drainage should be properly maintained sewerage systems and lines should be maintained should be taken into account and then greening the earth is again uh, one of the writings where anthropology anthology of poems on global responses uh, has been written talking about the environmental crisis in a poetic form so those are some of the important things that we have discussed in this edition for down to earth as we mentioned in one of the separate lectures what's really important is how you can take the extracts from here and enhance your answers for your mains answer writing uh, also these topics are extremely important for your prelims as well so study well prepare well thanks for joining in today